Carlos, congratulations and thank you for a wonderful season so far. And it's wonderful to be able to say to you so far because we've still got the best bit to come. Today, how much did you get out of it? How useful was the exercise? No, I think that uh, we wanted to achieve the three points. We wanted to make the result the consequence of a positive performance. And I was watching the team playing excellent in some of the minutes of the game, especially in the first half. So when I see that the team, the highest position that we could achieve from the previous day was to finish third in the in the table. So to achieve the that position always is, is please. Uh, what do you want to talk about specifically, Carlos? I'm thinking about your selection, starting Carol Lighting, starting Danny Ward again. Give us a bit of the specific value on your selection today. <clears throat> if I told you about the uh, mentality of the thoughts in the bat of uh, what I was doing today was to make try to help everyone to be ready for the special and important moment that we are going to play right now. So more than any type of maybe the save was more tactical, but any type of decision in terms of the players and the minutes was thinking to add the maximum number that we can add for this special moment and to prepare everyone in the best way that we can prepare. Defence and improved defence has been such a, an important aspect of your season. Another clean sheet today. And Jamal Blackman should be credited with, with some of that today, as well as his defenders in front of him. I think for me it was very important the, to, to give minutes to Jamal because if any, we know that Linikos is an excellent keeper in the first choice, but if something happens that you never know what can happen, I wanted to make Yamal ready, to make him ready to, if he needs to play any type of minutes in the, in the playoff. And at the same time, he was one player that he has been working excellent, so he was deserving to the, the opportunity that he had today. So, and to maybe to reduce some minutes for Linikos can help him too, because he didn't do the normal week. The previous week he was resting one day a little bit and I think the, if you put all the circumstances in the same way I think the, the decision was the right decision to give the minutes to Jamal and to make Linicol's rest and prepare for the next game. There was a dramatic development in the games elsewhere today, Carlos, with a, a sudden situation where you would have faced Sheffield United and then it changed again. Five minutes later, because of an equaliser for Hull against Nottingham Forest, that means your opponent will definitely be Luton Town. How important is it that you play Luton? Uh, are you bothered either way? Do you have a preference? No, I, when you are going to play one playoff game, you don't have any type of preference because we know that every type of game is going to be demanding. I guess Luton is going to be very demanding. If we will have been playing against Sheffield, it will be very demanding. So there is any type of favourite or advantage situation. The only important thing is that we have finished in the highest position that from the last week uh, we could finish. And this is for me an important achievement that we have made all the points that we wanted to make because uh, in the last, after international break, uh, we only have lost two points of the 21 that we were playing. And this is for me fantastic too. But everything that we have done in the past, it doesn't mean any type of sense uh, for what is going to happen in the future because now we arrive to one different moment and we need to prepare the different moment in the best way that we have to prepare. And making the basic point that I should be congratulating you on, Carlos, your team has finished third in the table. 82 points. You played 46 matches and won exactly half of them. A massive compliment to you and your team. How much has that achievement even surprised you? I think if we talk just about the regular season, we have been finished in an in a important position in the table. Uh, because uh, we are in the back of two very important clubs like is Fulham and Bormo that we always congrats for the successful season that they have had. But uh, this is talking about the regular season, but now we are going to talk about something different that demands uh, another type of, of feeling. What we have done now, like I told you, is that's all. It's finished, it's over, the season. And what we need to do is to try to learn a lot from the things that we have been doing during all the season to be the more competitive team, the, the most competitive team that we can be in the next two special and important games. A strange aspect of finishing third, Carlos, is the fact that your turnaround time for the first leg is actually shorter. It's almost like being penalised for doing very well and finish third. Is that enough time in the circumstances? Do you feel that the turnaround time is a little shorter than you would have liked? When, the, when you don't decide the circumstances, the circumstances, we need to accept the circumstances. So now it's just, I agree with you that we have one day less, 
but it's the for both teams is exactly the same. So what we need to do is to plan now the week, knowing necessarily the day, knowing the opponent. That uh, is important to have this type of uh, information the faster that we can to start to work, the faster that we can too. Congratulations again, and thank you for talking to us live on BBC Radio Leeds as always. You're welcome.